All right, now to the search for three-year-old Sharon Matthews in Richardson. The concerns about the child's well-being now crossing international borders. News Ace David Goins tonight live in Richardson. So, David, tonight for the first time we're hearing from the Indian Embassy, right? Yeah, that's right, John. And before we get to that, I do want to mention that I just did speak with uh, Sharon Matthews' mother's attorney. That attorney said until there is, in their words, a development in this case that uh, the mom really doesn't want to speak at all about what is happening involving her daughter's disappearance. But the Indian government is. Uh, earlier today, the Minister of External Affairs for the Government of India uh, tweeting, quote, we are deeply concerned about the missing child. The Indian embassy in the U.S. is actively involved and they keep me informed. Now, on the investigative front, all those search warrants that we've seen in this case, and we talked about on Wednesday, over 30 of them now, many of them take a long time to get through to process uh, some of that information. We know several of them, like uh, search warrants for those laptops, cell phones, tablets, those type of things. Those have been sent off to forensic labs really throughout the country, uh, not only in the state of Texas, and it could be work weeks before they all come back and before detectives know if there's actually any evidence on those electronics that can help them find Sharon. John? David, we've been watching and they've collected quite a bit of evidence, or at least brought some things from the house. Do we know when all that evidence is going to be processed? That's the big question right now, John, because not only is some of this evidence being processed locally, some is being processed uh, in the state of Texas, but also some by the FBI in Quantico, Virginia. And we are well aware uh, of the amount of work that the FBI is dealing with and the amount of evidence processing, especially after uh, the situation in Las Vegas. You, you know, David, in the past, uh, we've seen this group, uh, Equisearch. Uh, we've seen them in other cases. They've joined in this search. Uh, mm -hmm. What are they saying to us? Right. Yeah, that horseback uh, team that's so ubiquitous when we have a missing child in the state of Texas, or really any of the states surrounding Texas. I did speak with them uh, down in Houston today. They said at this point they have not been contacted by police or the family, which would be required for them to get involved. David Goins reporting tonight from Richardson, been doing yeoman's work, keeping us up to date on this missing three-year-old. Thank you much, very much, David.